Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today I want to talk about Guild of Guardians. Now season one already finished, but season two is just started. Now you need to decide if you want to participate on this game. I was very excited this game until last week when I got the airdrop from the first season. And I think I got about $10 on the airdrop on my main account. And I think $5 on my secondary account. Now I spent about $20 with my NFTs when the drop came. So I bought the drop, I have a video about it. If you wanna go back and watch it. So I have five NFTs for this game and I'm not quite happy with the results of the airdrop. I didn't put that much of time. However, even the top players got about $500 airdrop and they invest thousands and thousands of dollars. Now, this is the situation of the game now. They are giving me about 50,000 GOG tokens so if the price of the token go up, of course, that rewards are going to be worth more and we all going to be happy. However, if it is what it is, I'm not quite sure if you want to get started. However, you can start completely free and build your hero. The account I'm going to show you here, it's free. I got about $5 and I still building my heroes. So I'm going to go ahead and show the game, give you some tips and tips that I found out on the last one that I played. And I'm going to let you decide if you want to participate in or not. Now, I'm also going to show uh, some options for airdrops that you can get some extra GOG tokens. So if you can go ahead and use the referral link below, I really would appreciate it. So the Guild of Cards game, if you want more information about the game, you can go and check my other videos. I talked with this since 2021 or 2022 when the game first came out, I tried to buy some NFTs. For the different guilds for the game so we would be able to have a guild on our channel however it was all sold out all the time it was very hard and i could not buy any nfts at the time i could buy some of the heroes on the last drop and they also having some drop for some gems on immutable x i got a hundred amx token from the transactions i created because of this game to buy the heroes so that was already a plus for me because I will not get the airdrop in case I haven't done that transaction. But they are also going to give a hundred gems for the immutable X. Now we don't know what that gems are going to be worth it, but I know that I have been collecting for a long time and I don't have a hundred yet. So a hundred is a very good number and you really want to get because it's not that difficult. Now, before I talk about the game, they have this quest here that you can go ahead and complete. I'm going to leave the link on the description below. So some quests are quite simple, like for example, hold some GOG. So I think I have about 90 that I received from the last time that I was playing that worth about $6. So you can go ahead and buy and complete some of the questions, or you can go ahead and play the game, get some of the tokens and complete some of the quests. So here are some very easy to complete where you have to like and repulse some of the tweets. There is also some where you have to have your NFTs. So go ahead and come here. Now there is this one here that you can go ahead and do your good morning. That's a very easy one to complete. Sometimes I, I miss that, but it's here to do it. Now, like I was saying, the Immutable X. So if you log with your Immutable X. Now, let me show you the gem that you can get it. So you can, if you log here with the Immutable X, so you can see I got 110 EMX tokens from some drop that I did it because of this Guild of Guardians that I bought it. I got 90 of the token for the airdrop. That's about $6. And then I have some USD here. Now, if you click here on rewards, you can see you can claim your daily gems. And here, if you have more than 100 EMX, you can get nine. That's what I'm getting here. And you can see I built only 75 gems so far. Now you can go ahead and collect the gems every day. You got one gem, even if you don't have any tokens. So you can see one gem for zero tokens, three gems for 20, and then 16 gems for 1,000. Now, if you do play the game, you can see here the rules. If you do play this game, and you have one NFT that costs about a dollar. You can get the easiest one. You can you have actually a few options. You can get an NFT from the marketplace, or you can get a character on the game and transform it to an NFT using the Ascension Seal. Now, Ascension Seal is something you can also get for free, or you can buy it using dollars on the Apple Store or the Google Store. 
on the game. So that is really cool as well. Now, I think I got 10 essential seals for the time that I played for this one. However, you're going to need 30 to ascend the lower NFTs. So you're going to need at least 30. You need to see how much that's actually going to cost. And we can check that on the game. And then you can decide if you want to buy an NFT or if you want to go ahead and get the seals and actually assign one of your guardians. Now, if you do this by the 24th, you also need to complete the Tomb of Heroes. That I think is the second stage of the game. So it's very easy. It doesn't take that long to do it. And I'm going to show you everything on the game right now. So you can see here is the game. This is my secondary account because I'm logging on the emulator. I don't want to have any risk of losing my main account. So you can see here, this is all my different guardians. You can open a lot of different guardians through the game. So if you want to send something like this NFT here, you can click and check. It's going to cost about 200 of the seals. Now, if you decided to go for one of those ones, it's going to cost about 31 seals. And I think this is the lowest that you can ascend. So let's go ahead and check if we can ascend some cheaper NFTs here. Oh, you can ascend some of these ones here as well. Those are costing 150. So the pay on the NFT is not so much on the rarity. So you need to come and check. This is only 18 sailing here. So you can go ahead and check. Now you can also check how much they cost. So if you come to the shop, you can come here and you're going to find some bundles to buy that. So if we come to premium and then as you can see for 40 is going to cost $9.43. So I believe you can get cheaper NFTs on the market then actually go ahead and use the ascension seal. So you have to buy 40 at once. Some of them use only 18, like we say. So you can probably ascend two different NFTs with $9. But I still believe that's cheaper to go and buy on the market. You need to double check that for the time that you are doing. Now you can get a lot of free things on the game. So you can get three diamonds on every help that the game has so if you're, for example if i open the quest i click on the question mark i'm gonna get 50 diamonds for that so you can click in all the question marks and each one's gonna give you 50 so you can do the same for the inventory of course i already did everywhere that i could think of and you're gonna get the three diamond now you can also grab 50 parts or 60 parts of the different nfts and build one of the heroes and you can do a lot of different things. Like I said, the Ascension here. So this is my secondary account. I got five on this one. So it's not enough for me to create an NFT. However, if I want, I can buy the rest and, and assign different NFTs or different characters that I have been playing here on the game. You can see I have different levels. I'm not sure if the level are going to go through or not, but you can go ahead and try now one thing that's very important in the game is that you can reset your character without lose anything so for example here i have my character and if i want to change the strategy i can go ahead and reset this character and i'm going to receive everything that i put on the character back so i can go ahead and send another character using that resource now that's very cool because sometimes you're going to fight different enemies and you need a different thing to do so now you can also go ahead and burn some of your characters to get some of these gems here on the bottom that you can use to upgrade other characters that i would recommend you to always keep one of each character and i'm gonna tell you why so so always keep one of each character for you in your collection so you can use on different plays now you can enlighten the character. So this is going to always the number here of gems. And of course, you're going to increase the HP, attack, and defense. If you are saying it's going to transform into NFT and also it's going to increase the status. You can put different gears on the NFT. So here you can see there are four different gears that you can craft. And you can also go ahead and level up the gears. And there are also a special gear here for each of the different Heroes. So for example, I have the sword here that is already on with him. I cannot use it in any other character. And also it's going to help you to know when you can go ahead and have a better gear to go ahead and put it here. So if I click here, you can see 
I have this one that's actually at T3, is a higher level. So that is really cool. Now you can also craft your own gears. So you can come here and if you click, double click here, it's going to create a different type of materials. Then with these materials, you can go ahead and craft different gears. Now be careful. Here you see it's T2. I'm there is T1 and there is also T3. I'm on T3 at the moment. They have better stats. And other thing I can do is fuse the gears together to have a better gear. So if I fuse three of the same gear, I'm going to have the exactly gear here. Now there is no point to fuse these three gears unless I want to try for a different type of guardian because it's going to give me the same three, three gear. And you can see it tells here everything that you need to know. Now, if I mix, so for example, if I do three different weapons, now you can see here, I don't know for what type of guardian that weapon is going to be. I know it's going to be a T3. I know it's going to be a weapon. Now, if I add here, I could and the mix. Now I don't know anything. So I don't, I, know, I just know it's going to be a T3. I don't know for what type of hero it's going to be. And I don't know what type of gear it's going to be. Now you can do the same with different things. So for example, if I put the boots here, I can put three. I know it's going to be a boots, but I don't know for what kind of hero it's going to be and so on. So you can mix things and you can get from a completely different type of card that you don't even have one of the piece for that guy that, or you can get a specific type that you want. Now you can also go ahead and burn these gears and get everything back as well. So if I burn this one here, you can see I'm going to get all this crystal back and all this coins back as well. And I don't need this gear anymore. I don't need this gear anymore. So I can go ahead and burn all of them. I can go ahead and batch. I can burn all T2 because I'm trying to add three T T3 gears in my hero. So I can go ahead and savage all of them. And now I have a lot of resources to upgrade these other gears. Now they're not going to say this gear is better because you cannot, the status of the other one was busted, was upgraded. So T2 can be better than a T3 if it's upgraded. And also if I come here and click, you can see the different stats. So this one has a magic resistance very high. However, the critical defense rating is very low and the critical rate is okay. Now you can compare different ones so you can see if it's worth it. So for example, this is a gear that I want to keep because there is two orange here and I can enrange one of these three during the game. So for all the gears, so for all the gears that I have, I can enrage one of the characteristics, only one on the game. So I can try get a better one. So you have three different chance to enrage. I think the first one is free. The second one you pay coins and the third one you play with diamonds. I would always try to go for an orange or something you wanted because once you save, you cannot go ahead and try it again. So you can try it just once. And you can see this other one here is quite decent as well. Now there is also the type that's going to match your hero. So you can see here, my hero here has a type. So if I use a gear, that is the same type, I would get a bonus. So you can see here, it says 10% boost when equipped by Terra Guardians. So if my Guardian is Terra and using this tool, I'm gonna 10% boost on that as well. So there is a lot of details that you need to think about when you're in range, enhancing your gear and when you're crafting to see if it's worth it to change it or not. Sometimes the stats are not as good, but you get 10% extra. So it may be better to use than the other one. Now, I told you to always keep your guardians. The reason for that is when you come to the endless game, you see some type of guardians give you boost. So here for the segment highlight, I can click on the domain bonus. It says here, each active solace guardian increase score gain by 5, 25% gain at max. So what you can do here is when you start a new game, you're going to go ahead and filter and you're going to use all five of those NFTs here. So you can see I have it here. Don't click start. You need to select more guidance. So go back here to the normal, then go ahead and select your normal team. So that would be this five for me. I still have one here that I take to my battles as well as, as an option. If one of them get depleted energy. Now what I do is I was focusing 
and I have 10 gardens with a very high power. And I noticed that it's a lot better if I have only five or six of them instead of 10. Because before I was expanding, I have a lot of level 80 and they were not strong. And what I noticed when they level 80 die and I get the reserve team, they would die as well. And I tried to, die, to do the other way around. I started with the reserve team and it did pretty much would go to the same place. Now I went a lot farther by focusing on only five or six heroes instead than like it's here. So I take five just to be there to give me some extra bonus on the back. And the other five is the five that I take to fight. Now there's also the command order here. So it depends on what you want. I'm focusing on get the endless score. So I'm using this partition, even though I'm going to get 20% damage reduction for five seconds here. Now, if I want to focus on experience, I would use this one that increased the experience that the gardens receive. So you need to think about everything and decide which plan they want to be and also who you're taking with you. Now, for this endless challenge, there is this two. However, from the past one was a different one. So that's why I told you to always keep one of each guardian. Now, there is also the rush and the arena. So the rush, very important. You have to get this bonus as well. So what you need to do is click on the Dread Powder. And here you can select four different buffs that you're going to receive. Now, of course, that's going to make your score lower or higher depending on the one that you decided to use it. Now, when you go over 80,000, you start to have someone that are really good. For example, during battle, Terror Guardians take 30% damage. If you're not using Terra Guardians, you can go ahead and turn this off and you're going to receive the point with no penalty. Same here, Sin Guardians attack reduce. You don't have Sin Guardians, no problem, turn it on. And you're going to get plus 8% bonus without any actual penalty. Now, even if you, do, if you are in the beginning, I recommend you to turn this for because if you come here on the daily missions, you see here, activate four Dread Powers and Rush. So at least once, activate four, and then you're going to be able to claim these 200 coins. Then if you do it two times, you get it under 50. And here for the first one, I had this 100. So what I do is the first one, I put four here, and I go ahead and select my team and play. The second one, I remove this four, and I try different teams and different combinations to play for a higher score. Now... Here is only your highest score that's important. So it makes no sense for you to go all three times with the same team because you're going to have similar scores. So try different formations. I try put them in different places. Try actually resetting one and adding everything on another one and so on. And that's going to make sure that you find the best team here to receive most of the points. Now for the arena. Very similar, you create your team that you're going to attack other people and you're going to create the defense party and then you're going to fight with other people and try to win. Now you're also going to get your rewards here and the rewards count against your tier. So as you go up a tier, you receive different bonus here. As you can see, at the moment, I was able to get only to tier two. So I still trying to figure it out. If you have any tips and tricks, let me know to make it my squad better. So also when you go to a fight, you need to be careful with your, your formation because I'm going to have to go into a fight here to show you that when you start a the fight, there are different things that you can do that is going to enhance the capacity of your heroes. So let's try this one here and I'm just going to show you what I meant. So I'm going to press start. I'm going to select my five main heroes and then I will select another five just because here you select the command order as well. I'm playing for experience on these ones and let's go ahead and click start. Now you can see here my first combat and that's what I really don't like it. You can only see this when you actually in combat so I can press fight and here on the top you can see this. So depending on the amount of guardians that you have, you have the different values here that give you more boost or less boost if you try to focus all of them in one type you're going to get the highest boost but of course you need to balance that with your team as well now there is also there what 
type of guardian is better or worse against what type of guardian. So let's go ahead and go for the second fight. If we click here, you can see here on the top. So I'm with this team. I'm good against Terra and so on. So here is all the different ones and you can come here and check it out. Now I'm going to finish this quest once I already started and I'm going to come back soon to show a few more things. Now another thing you can see here is when you're going to select your rune, you can click here and see what guardians are doing what on your team. So you maybe want to enhance some of the capability of that specific guardian. So then you can go ahead and say like, okay, my supporters are the ones doing most of the work. So it would be good for them to get a little bit more AP. And you can make a decision based on numbers on what one is better. Now you can also find some of those, like this one's going to offer heal for my, for my guardian. So I can select to heal one, to heal the whole body or to get a blessing. I don't think they took too much damage. So I'm going to take some tokens or I'm going to take some of the coins to the danger so I can go ahead and use it if we see the opportunity to rise. Now, this dangerous coin, they finish with the danger. So once you get to the end, they disappear. So I have to have two opportunity to use during the game. Now, it's important on the top, it shows what's coming on the danger. So you can see if it's going to have a merchant where you're going to have the opportunity to expand the tokens or the coins, or if it's going to have something like if you are on the infinity run on the endless run you can actually skip some of the enemies using the, the the coins so that would be good places to use it okay so here is the camp where i have the chance to rest my guardians before the final battle i can also try for a different run or inspire them and you're gonna get some bonus as well but let's go ahead and do this let's heal them and go for the final boss I think I already tried this one and I failed. Let's see if I can succeed this time. Okay, final fight. Let's see the result. Also, I'm playing automatically, so they are using the abilities by itself. I can turn it manually and use it as I want it. And I'm also playing uh, in twice the speed so the game goes faster. Now you can also just sweep the dungeons and get the rewards. However, on that time, you're not going to get your experience. So if you're doing the sweep, the downside is that you don't receive experience for the dungeons. However, you do receive all the other things that you would normally find during the game. Now let's let this finish and I will show you what I meant. Oh, oh so close, so close, but we miss it. I'm actually going to try. Uh, my other heroes have no power at all, but let's try to use them and see what's going to happen. Now they're very weak. They die on the first hit and they hit doesn't do any day for the enemy so that is quite funny so let's go back here and what i mean about sweeping the face so you can come to adventure if you have a lot of energy and you're not keen to play the game you can choose one of this here so let's go to the tomb of heroes so that's the second phase you need to claim you can click here you can select what challenge you want so let's say three and i can go ahead and sweep so that means i'm gonna get all the rewards for that phase without having to play. So you can see here everything that I received for that sweep. So that's pretty easy. Now the challenge three, you got two sweeps to do. The challenge two, you get three sweeps to do. The challenge one, you get as many as you want. However, the rewards here are not great. Now, if you want to get the 100 gems, you need to clean this follow cemetery and the thumbs here. So that's six phase they have to pass. And that is not really shouldn't take that long to do it. They are quite simple ones. I don't think I had any problem passing the two first ones at the first try every time. So that the guy, I hope I cover everything. I tried to do it, everything that I could remember. So if there is anything that I missed, please let me know and I'll let everyone else know. And I will see you on the next one. Bye now.